In this video, we'll be focusing on the second exponential law, the division law. In the first video, we saw that when you are multiplying base numbers that are the same, you can simply add the exponents. Now we're going to have a look at what we can do when we divide and we have base numbers that are the same. In the example, the numerator is 2 to the power of 6, which means there are 6 2's multiplied with each other. In the denominator, we have 4 2's multiplied. A fraction can be simplified by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same value. So here we can say 2 divided by 2 is 1, and repeat that for a second pair, a third pair, and a fourth pair of 2's. This means here we are left with 1 times 2 times 2, which we can rewrite in exponential form as 2 squared, because 2 2's are being multiplied. This method of expanding the exponential form and then simplifying to get the answer can be very tedious. Luckily, we can use it to form an exponential law. When we are dividing and the base numbers are the same, we can keep that base number constant and then simplify by subtracting the exponents. The reason for that is the 6 2's in the numerator can be simplified by dividing by the 4 2's in the denominator and the difference between the two exponents will indicate the number of 2's that are left. So when we divide we can subtract the exponents. Let's go and use the second law to simplify in a more effective way. Example 1. Simplify and leave your answer in exponential form. Here we have base numbers that are the same, so we know that we can keep them the same, and because we are dividing, we will subtract the exponents, saying 10 minus 6. This means you can directly write the final answer, which will be 3 to the power of 4. So once the 3's in the numerator and denominator have been simplified by dividing, there will be 4 3's left that should be multiplied. In example 2, again we have the same base numbers, so this will stay a base of 7, and I'm going to subtract the exponents from each other. So the final answer will be 7 to the power of 13. In example 3, we now have multiplication and division. The multiplication law can only be used for base numbers that are the same, and here we have different bases that are multiplied, so we cannot use the multiplication law. We can, however, use the division law on the base numbers 2 and 3 separately. If I start off with my base of 2, I'm going to say 5 minus 4, which is an exponent of 1, and that does not have to be indicated. This should now be multiplied by a certain number of 3's, and for the 3's I'm going to subtract the exponent, saying 6 minus 2, which will give me 3 to the power of 4. The instruction is to leave your answer in exponential form. Here we now have two different bases, which means I cannot use the multiplication law to simplify further, so my final answer is 2 times 3 to the power of 4. In all three of these examples, there were more of the specific base number in the numerator than in the denominator. Let's now go and have a look what happens when there's more of the base number in the denominator. In example 4, we now have 3 2's in the numerator and 5 2's in the denominator. So, using our exponential law, we will say 3 minus 5, and the answer will be 2 to the power of negative 2. But what does this 2 to the power of negative 2 really imply? If you go and expand these exponential forms again and then simplify, you will see that there are two 2's left in the denominator, 
which can also be written as 1 over 2 to the power of 2. So, the 2 to the power of negative 2 exponent actually tells you that the two 2's that are left are in the denominator. And these are simply two different notations to indicate the same value. So when there's a bigger exponent in the denominator, our final answer will have a negative exponent. Next, let's have a look at some algebra with our exponential law. In example 2, we now also have variables. The 14 and 7 are normal constants without exponents, so we can divide them as normal, saying 14 divided by 7 is 2. For the variables, we now have exponents, so I'm going to use my division law. This law says that the base number stays the same, and I subtract the exponent, so 7 minus 3 will give me 4. In the second example, we once again have constants and variables. The constants do not have exponents and can be divided as usual, and 30 divided by minus 10 is minus 3. Next, I can simplify my x's and my y's separately using the exponential law. So because I'm dividing, I'm going to subtract the exponents, and for the x's, that will give me 10. For the y's, the exponent in the denominator is bigger, so when I now subtract the exponents, saying 5 minus 10, I'm going to get a negative exponent of minus 5. So now we have two laws. When multiplying by the same base, we add our exponents, and when we divide with the same base, we subtract the exponents.